Hi, I'm Lisa Evans, the story midwife. Have you ever stepped off stage following a presentation and you felt uh, a little bit deflated because things haven't gone exactly as planned? I felt like that and last year I did a presentation and there were several technical glitches and I started to think about those during my presentation and by the time I got, got off stage my head was filling up with self uh, sabotaging and negative thoughts which is not good for anybody. When I spoke to my mentor about this, a very seasoned professional speaker, his advice was when you're thinking about your presentation only consider those things that are within your control, which is a great place to start. I decided to create a process around my post speaking review and I've got five steps. There are five R's. Number one is refresh, number two is reward, number three is review, number four is release and number five is refocus. So number one, refresh. When I step off stage, I become acutely aware that I need to take care of some personal needs. So that might be going to the bathroom, having a drink, getting out of my high heels, putting on some lippy. Then I feel ready to uh, meet the audience and hang out and have a chat, take photos, accept thanks and, and uh, share gratitude. I love doing that. Then it's time for reward. So it might be a well-earned cup of coffee because I don't drink dairy or coffee on the day of the presentation before I speak. Or it may be um, a glass of wine, depending on the time of day. If I'm heading home or I'm going back to my hotel, it could be a long bath or shower or maybe even a, a massage or a brisk walk. So something that I do to uh, make me, me feel good about myself and, and reward myself for the hard work that I've done. Only when I've done step one and step two do I move into the review process. This may be on the day or it may even be the following day. So in the review process, I have a critical look at my presentation and, and a good think about it. And first of all, I determine what is and what isn't in my control. Things that happened on stage, such as technical glitches or other things that are beyond my control, I quickly um, accept those things and then release them. So focusing on the things that were within my control that I want to improve for next time, I then write those down and come up with a short action item or um, implementation plan of how I can change those things so that I can do even better the next time. And then once I've got those things itemized and an action item against each of those, I then release. I let go of that particular presentation so that I can then move forward and refocus on my next presentation in that continual cycle to learn, learn from your mistakes, let go of that presentation and then um, continue to improve and do better for the next one. What I love about speaking is that no matter where you are on your journey, there is always more you can learn. There is always uh, things to improve on to continue to be the best speaker that you can be. So I hope that's helped you. If you're feeling a little bit deflated about a presentation, we've all been there, but having a process and learning to um, accept and release is really important so that you can move forward and get better for the next time. Bye for now.